So there are two main way of fishing with a fly fishing line in Topo. One is to use a floating line and one is to use a sinking line. And today what I would like to do is demonstrate you how to fish with a sinking line. Sinking line uh, is a very traditional way of fishing in Topo. In fact it was it was one of the first technique that the people used when they started to fly fish in, around here. And uh, Ninfeng has been here only for the last 30 years or so. So I will concentrate on that. Basically the gear, very very simple gear, you need a rod, you need a fly fishing reel, you have a heavy line because the idea is to fish under the water, so to go under the water you need to use a line that's heavy enough to sink and that's exactly the purpose of that shooting head. That line is only about 10 meters long and is attached to a backing. The shooting head can, can be attached to two types of backing. It can be attached to a backing that doesn't float and it can be also attached to a backing that floats. And that's the technique that I'm using here, the type of backing that I use here. Using a floating backing has several advantages. The main one is that you can mend the line a bit like you do with a floating line. That means that you can cast across and then you can mend your line so that it gives a bit more time for the shooting head to, to sink deeper. Therefore you can basically scan every level in the water that you're trying to, that you're trying to fish. Invariably the fish will be close to the bottom and the idea is to be as close to the bottom as you can with your gear and, and you will see that there are places in the pool where the bottom is only one meter deep but there is also area in the pool where the water is three or four meters deep and this is likely where the fish will be especially if they have been disturbed by, by anglers who, are, uh, who have been fishing ahead of you. So when you use a sinking line with a shooting head what you have at the end, what you try to simulate is a fish. So you cast, you try to, to, to pretend that your little fish is trying to try to cross the river and the trout will be looking upstream, they will see a fish that's crossing the river ahead of them and this is where they're going to decide to, to attack them. So to tease the fish you cast, you don't know exactly where the fish will be but the idea is to cast across swing it and if there is any fish within two or three meters of your swing it may think oh there we go there's a little fish coming through and it will attack it and that's also what gives this typical very strong attack of the trout it will not you know the, the, the trout will take the lure as it is a real fish in nature and that means that it's going to be a, a very brutal attack which is also uh, a good thing about uh, something exciting about fishing with a with a wet line the main food of trout in a river will be invertebrates, insects. You can have eggs that are drifting down from the, the, the other fish which are spawning upstream. And when you use a floating line, this is, this is the type of food that you're trying to imitate. You also have slightly bigger prey, which could be juvenile fish, juvenile trout, juvenile coir or juvenile bullies. And, and this is slightly bigger um, prey for the fish and that's the type of, of lure that we're using when we use uh, white lining. It's to try to imitate this slightly larger prey that the, that the trout can be feeding on. So here you have a selection of three different type of flies that are very very common usually in Taupo. You have an uh, orange rabbit. Orange rabbit because there's a bit of skin of a rabbit attached to the body and that will give a neat, a neat motion to the fly that will imitate all sorts of different type of fish uh, and the color of their stomach. Here you have a red setter. Red setter doesn't really fit any clear pattern of uh, imitation but the colors are attractive and it will also swim nicely. It could represent a juvenile kura, a juvenile water crayfish, freshwater crayfish or it can be an eggs which is drifting far quicker than the other ones. And you have a woolly bugger. Again a woolly bugger is a fish that is a, is a lure that imitates a juvenile fish of, of unknown species, probably bullies would be the closest as they uh, as it can. Now when the water is very is dirtier, what you tend to do, you tend to, to use flies that are slightly darker. And if the water is very very dirty or if you want to fish at night, then you go for something 
which is black which is a woolly bugger black woolly bugger so those if you have those five flies in your box you're basically equipped to affront any situation in topo Deja vu. I'm still under the sheet.